Welcome back for another VeChain price prediction analysis and in this video I will be giving you the price action to expect in the next coming hours here on the VeChain chart and before I do so show some love by first giving this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and at the time of this recording VeChain continues to hold above the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart which is now acting as support for us to continue gearing up and the next key area of resistance that we have on the charts is at around the 0 0.02 dollars and a break above that with a retest then we can expect higher prices and easily see VeChain get above the 0 0.022 dollar mark in the next coming hours alternatively in case we don't see that massive bounce to the upside and maybe we see a break out of this range that we have been stuck within to the lower side then I will be expecting the next key area of support at around the 0.01798 dollar mark to continue holding and as long as that key area of support continues to hold we can expect another bounce back here on the reaching chart breaking above the 0.02 dollar mark but on the worst case scenario in case we lose the 0.01798 dollar mark in case we get a pullback maybe with a retest then we can expect further downside to the area at around the 0.016 dollar mark where we have our next significant areas of supports VeChain continues to obey the ADO12 structures also and zooming out on the charts to give you my ADO12 analysis you can see that VeChain after giving us a bear market low at around the 0.013 dollar mark we picked in a 5 wave move to the upside having the wave 5 giving us a high above the 0.021 dollar mark completing the formation of this wave 1 to the upper side then we started a corrective structure in the formation of this wave 2 into the minimum target area highlighted on the charts using this blue target area which is an area that we have now fully maximized and there are high chances that we now have a low in place for the second wave and we are now seeing a reaction of the target area in what could be the start of an impulsive move in the formation of this wave 3 and because of the impulsiveness in the formation of that wave 3 I'm also expecting to see a 5 wave move to the upside having the wave 5 giving us the high for these higher edge to have count 3 to the upper side and here on the charts you can now see that I'm terming this as the formation of this wave 1 then we saw a bit of a pullback in the formation of this wave 2 and right now whatever we are seeing is the start of an impulsive move in the formation of this wave 3 and the minimum target areas for the third wave can be given by connecting the Fibonacci's from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave giving me a minimum target area at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 0.02224 dollar mark and that is the minimum that we can expect VeChain to do in the formation of that wave 3 so here on the short term we need to see a break above resistance at around the 0.02 dollar mark for us to continue expecting higher prices but in case we get rejected then I'm expecting another pullback to the area at around the 0.0179 dollar mark so that is what I'm keeping my eyes on here on the VeChain chart on the short term and also on the long term and I hope that video was of much help to you.